In this lesson, we're going to have a look at how we add or subtract decimals. Now, our example here is add $3.20, $4.73, and $8.12. Now, they're money amounts or currency, but they're decimals. They've got a decimal point in them. So uh, this is an example of adding decimals together. So let's do it. If I was to take those numbers and just take the decimal point out, just imagine they were full numbers. I could do that easily, right, just because they're decimals. Uh, doesn't doesn't make things any harder. Like if I imagine that they were just full numbers, I could do that easily. I'd put them into an algorithm. I would add them together in my algorithm form, uh, and I would get if I went to zero plus three plus two gives me five. Two plus seven plus one gives me ten. So zero carry the one. Three plus one is four. Plus four is eight, and eight is sixteen. I'd get sixteen oh five. Well. The same process we can use, but this time working with them as decimals. I can simply put them on top of each other with my units all in a line. So in this case, these are my hundredths, these are my tenths, these are my ones. Now the really important thing here is to remember to get the decimal points all lined up. So when I write my decimals, I want the decimal points to all be written exactly over the top of each other and the same in my answer so in this point here this is where the decimal will go in my answer so I'm going to put that decimal point in now I go through and do my addition just like I did before 0 plus 3 plus 2 equals 5 2 plus 7 plus 1 gives me 10 so that's 0 there carry the 1 1 and 3 is 4 and 4 is 8 and 8 is 16 and my answer is 16.05 or $16.05. What about something like this one? Add these decimals. Now, these have different uh, numbers or different numbers of decimals, but the process is the same. Write them in an algorithm, making sure that the decimal points all align. They're all over the top of each other. Now I'm going to do it just like I did before. Now, one trick here. See that I've got I've got gaps, like I've got sort of just one number after the decimal here, I've got three down here. I've got gaps around the place. One little trick to help make this easier is just fill zeros into all those gaps. So now I've got a nice kind of rectangular algorithm with no spaces empty. Put zeros in where the gaps are. It just helps keep track of where you are and what you're doing. Now I can go through and add them just like normal, remembering that my answer will have a decimal point exactly in line with the other ones. Let's start from this end and go 0 plus 0 plus 3 gives me 3. 0 plus 1 plus 0 gives me 1. 2, 2 and 0 added together gives me 4. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 7 is 13, so I'm going to put the 3 here, carry the 1, and I get 1 plus 4 gives me 5. So my answer is 53.413. So you can see, by putting those extra zeros into the gaps, it just made it nice and easy. I didn't lose track of where I was. What about subtracting? You know what? Follow the exact same process. Okay, I'm going to subtract 3.2 from 12.23. I can write out like an algorithm, remembering to align my decimal points. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. I've got my decimal points lined up. I'm going to put a zero in here and here just to fill in my gaps. And I'm going to do my algorithm. All right, my answer. Make sure this goes in line with the others. Now let's do it. 3 minus 0 equals 3. 2 minus 2 equals 0. 2 minus 3 I can't do, so I'm going to borrow 1 from the next column. So this will now become 12. This comes down to 0, so now I've got 12 take 3 gives me 9. 0 take 0 gives me 0, so my answer is 9.03. That is how we add and subtract decimals.